Another day more solid state battery claims are here. Guys, are these claims legitimate? Here are the headlines that we're seeing around the internet. Interesting Engineering says US firms all solid state EV battery breakthrough offers more energy density and longer range. We've been hearing this a lot. Is it actually true? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Microvast ASSB technology allows single cells to reach unprecedented voltages. Obviously, that increases energy density. Dozens of volts or higher, depending on the application's needs. We've heard of this stuff before, haven't we? We've heard, okay, solid state batteries, they're going to enable vehicles to have, I mean, Toyota's been saying this, vehicles to have 1,600 kilometers of range or 1,000 miles of range. Do you need that? No, it's ridiculous. Of course you don't need that. You have to stop at some point, don't you? I don't. I personally have never met anyone that's never stopped for 1,600 kilometers. I've never met anyone that's just kept driving, not done a pee at all. You know how long you'd, you'd have to drive for like, what, four, 13 hours without urinating to actually never stop. So you don't need that kind of battery, do you? You don't need it, but you know what? You don't need a lot of stuff in life. Would be kind of cool though, right? US-based battery tech firm Microvast say they have achieved a milestone in development of their true all-solid-state battery. True all-solid-state. It's true. Trust us, they say. This advancement represents a key step forward in improving safety, energy density, and efficiency for critical applications, said the company in a press release. Of course, if, you know, we're able to use these, these batteries in electric cars, I'm assuming based on the data they're providing us, you could charge in less than 10 minutes and get enormous range at the same time. To be honest though, this is coming with normal batteries. You don't even need solar state batteries for this now. We're going to see that over the next few years just with improvements. We're seeing incremental improvements to existing batteries. That will happen anyway. However, this technology differs significantly from traditional lithium-ion batteries that rely on liquid electrolytes. Microvas ASSB technology employs a bipolar stacking architecture and proprietary all-solid electrolyte separator membrane. This design eliminates the safety hazards and energy density constraints associated with liquid electrolytes. It allows a single battery cell to achieve significantly higher voltages and simplifies the overall system architecture. Traditional lithium-ion and semi-solid state batteries constrained by the limitations of liquid electrolytes typically operate at nominal voltages of 3.2 volts to 3.7 volts per cell. Now, that is correct. However, Microvast ASSB technology can achieve dozens of volts or even higher in a single cell, depending on the specific application requirements. The absence of liquid electrolytes ensures our batteries can operate at voltages unattainable by conventional designs, underscoring the transformative potential of our technology. So what voltages exactly? While well, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading. Um, Hmm, hmm. They're talking about all solid separators. The separator based on an advanced polyaramid material is non-porous and specifically designed for solid state applications. Lots and lots of words here, guys. No mention yet of the actual voltage in those cells. Just, they can be heaps better. Tons better, trust us. Anyway, they go on to say this. This bipolar design significantly reduces the number of interconnections between cells, modules, and packs. This simplifies the overall system architecture and enhances both energy efficiency and operational safety, asserts the company. So, can these be used in EVs? Well, Microvars say yes. Um, various applications, EVs, advanced robotics will be able to use these batteries. The flexibility in cell design empowers us to address emerging applications in fields such as advanced robotics and compact energy systems. Are these being produced yet? Well, not really. Pilot production. Microvast is currently transitioning to the pilot production study phase to further develop and scale its ASSB technology. This phase will focus on overcoming the unique manufacturing challenges associated with solid state batteries. And therein lies the problem. So no, there's a lot of hype going still around solid state batteries. This is a pilot production phase. They're nowhere near. They're still saying they've got problems to solve. It's years away. Kind of makes me think a little bit of what the CEO of NVIDIA said recently when he mentioned quantum computing. He said, yeah, it's great, um, but it's still, you know, probably 15 years away. Now, is this the same thing for the battery world? Well, probably is, to be honest, because there's no factory in the world that is manufacturing large numbers of solid-state batteries. 
And even though there are fat companies like Samsung producing solid state batteries in small numbers, we're years away from mass production. Unfortunately, CATL are saying that they're not far away, but I still think probably they are around five years away. That's still a while. And that's the problem. A while is time enough for other technologies to catch up. Liquid metal batteries, advancements in sodium ion batteries, advancements in LFP, which we're seeing energy density increases nearly every year, advancements in existing lithium ternary batteries or NCM chemistry batteries, and then you know using silicon in the anodes, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many things happening that I don't know that solid state batteries will ever be a mass market product, or at least not in the near future. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm not going to buy an EV because oh, I could have solid state batteries in a few years and therefore my EV will be worthless, that's not likely to happen. In fact, it's extremely unlikely. One of the world's largest car manufacturers says that it has solid state batteries it plans to put in its electric cars very soon. In fact, next year. This is coming as quite a shock to a lot of people. I mean, not many, not many people knew that Hyundai had their own solid state batteries. Is this potentially actually Samsung solid state batteries they're talking about here? Well, apparently not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you with us. Guys, if you'd like to, I highly recommend buying an EV. That's what this channel is all about. Getting solar installed. I have an Xpeng G6 and I charge my EV every day using solar from Resync Solar. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're in Australia, I recommend those two options. It saves you a lot of money. Now, Hyundai plans to launch a pilot production of game-changing EV batteries this year. Bit of a surprise. I mean, the big talkers, Toyota has been talking about solid state batteries relentlessly since 2012. They've said that they have pilot production solid state batteries ready in 2015, I think it was. They said that their EVs in 2018 would have solid state batteries. Hyundai just said nothing, very quiet. Nissan, big claims as well. Uh, Honda, big claims as well. But Hyundai just quietly was actually doing something rather than talking about it, it sounds like anyway, which is quite awesome. So what do we know about these batteries? Well, first of all, solid state batteries have the potential to have around 10 times higher energy density than traditional lithium ion batteries. Hyundai are accelerating their push into next generation electric vehicle technology. And if they do in fact have the solid state batteries that they say they do, then this is unquestionably a game changer for them. 